Hiya, and welcome back to Password. The game that teaches us that the bacon is always going to die. He's, he's always going to die. <laughs> no life for the bacon. Anyways, let's just hop right in. Hey. Oh, hey, Dave. Police are on their way. Run! Orlando was sobbing uncontrollably, barely able to get the words out in between sobs. Oh, okay. I wandered around to where Roswell lay. Sal was sitting nearby, arms covered in blood. Sal? I couldn't. I couldn't. He was... He was already... Yeah. They'll be here soon. The police? Hmm. They'll want to question us. And they'll find out who did it. Yeah. Despite the time it took for us to get to the mansion, the police arrived fairly quick. As Sal said, they questioned all of us and did a thorough investigation. For whatever reason, they decided I wasn't their top suspect and was able to make a clean enough break from it. Really, I don't know who they ended up suspecting for it. The whole thing caused a rift in the group that drove us all apart. We just stopped talking. Well, almost. I had a coffee in my hand, despite it being lunchtime. It had been weeks after the investigations had stopped. Hey. Oh, hey Ty. Ready to get going? Yeah, I guess so. Well, come on then. So... Yeah? How are you holding up? Fine, I guess. Still shaken. Heard from anyone else? No, not since everything sort of died down. Not since the funeral. I noticed Dean wasn't there. Yeah, he went back home apparently. Don't know for sure. Hmm. We drove for a bit longer in silence. Tyson barely smiled and he looked tired. He didn't have to do this, you know. Hmm? Oh. Yeah, I know. I wanted to. I'm not gonna get mushy and gay on you, Dave. I, uh, I got your back, remember? Good to know. Listen, if you want to take a nap, it'll be a while until we get there. That coffee isn't going to keep you awake the whole time, and I don't mind the quiet. Alright, sure, uh, thanks. Must have dozed off pretty quick. Next thing I knew, I was being woken by Ty's, by Ty that we'd arrived. Hey, we're here. And we were back at the manor. Just staying in front of the place sent a chill down my spine. You okay? Yeah, just give me a sec. Even after being so long, maybe it'll still too soon. Okay, let's do this. I'm right behind you. I walked up to the front door and knocked. Seconds ticked by until the door opened, the boy who opened it giving us a sad look before stepping aside to let us in. He led the way to the museum in silence, knowing where we wanted to go and gestured to the room before wandering off somewhere. Alright, we're here. Yeah, I'm surprised they said that we could look around. Maybe they had some sympathy for us as his friends. Maybe, you know, I don't even know. I'm just thankful I can get some closure. Okay, well, I don't think they're going to have the books he was looking at. The evidence of bullshit and all that. Okay, so... I reckon if you want some closure, let's start walking through what happened. I'll I'll be Roswell. You you do what you gotta do. Ah! Tyson wandered over to where he was found, folding his arms over his chest and keeping his eyes on anywhere but me. There were things that I never got answers to, things that just didn't make sense. Who killed Roswell? First. Who killed Roswell? Oh, shit. If you don't know... Shit. Do we know the murderer? The guy who did the murder? We don't know who killed Roswell. As far as we know, it wasn't one of us. If we did, one of us would be in jail and wouldn't have been at the funeral. Second, when was he killed? Smart. Ah. Gonna hood after dark. That would make sense. Sound I heard the person I saw wandering around in the dark. That was them, right? That was the murderer? There was one thing that gave the biggest clue to who did it. Why was the door locked? Huh? The door. We had to get Sal to break down the door, but why was it locked? Dunno. Let's see. 
Okay, there is like a a block a blocked term. Uh, Amethyst, you want to handle that? Cause like uh, I probably shouldn't handle it, cause I find it funny as hell. Tyson went over to the door and had a look. Don't know why it's got such a heavy duty lock on it. Seems overkill. Is there anything in here worth taking? Not gonna shit yet. Check the place out for that. <laughs> the shorter answer is no. Wouldn't want to take anything from here. Maybe there's info in the books? That's a lot of effort to go through unless you know what you're looking for. But locking the door with Roswell inside, maybe because he found it. Or stop us from finding the body? But then who locked it? Depends who had the key, right? I don't know. I don't think we'll ever know. Okay, so what now? I don't think there's anything concrete that will tell us what happened. We're not the police. We don't know when he died or, like, anything. Oh, shit. No kidding. After we found him. Couldn't just take it. Felt sick, really. I thought you didn't like him. Well, no, I didn't, but I didn't want him dead. Yeah. He'd been hit with a book, yeah. Looked like it. Well, at least that's what was next to his body. I could still picture it in my head. Discovery. That one word stung, but carried some meaning with me that I couldn't quite place. I prefer the bacon himself, Roswell. The, the dead guy. But he's not dead. I refuse to accept that. Maybe there's something of a dying message left for us. Discovery. What did he want us to discover? Well, to each their own. It didn't really matter now anyway. So we left. You know... Maybe it was what was in the vault after all, you know. Huh? We never found out. Maybe someone did. Oh, maybe. I just don't know. At this stage, I'd rather just forget a, forget it and let it be a bad memory. Ty? What's up? Thanks. Ty kept his eyes focused on the road, smirking just a little bit. Where'd you want to go now? I don't know. I don't think I care. You can pick. Alright. And so we just drove. Over time, Ty and I just settled into a rhythm. I had him, he had me. It didn't matter where we went, it didn't matter how we got there, we had each other. As bad as what happened was, and how it had estranged all of us, I discovered something I probably wouldn't have otherwise. Bad end, Roswell. Resonate? Yes! Alrighty, let's see. Room remained for the most part on- yeah, we already read all this. There was a moment's pause before the LED panel flashed vividly. Discover us -y. Ah! Suddenly, thoughts filled my head. Ah! I wasn't sure what I was seeing. Was this a hallucination? Roswell died? The mental image of him face down in the middle of what seemed to be the museum sent a chill down my spine. It looked like he'd been hit on the head by a book, but why? When? Was the museum that dangerous? Couldn't possibly be what the future held, right? The vault came back into view, and at, and it seemed at some point it passed out and ended up on the floor. How long was I out for? Ugh. Groggy, but otherwise none the worse for wear. What was left, though, was that I had the gut feeling that the museum was dangerous. I figured that if trying to find out the password was going to involve premonitions of death, I'd hold off until Roswell showed up. I figured it was best to keep the password that worked a secret for now. After all, I wasn't sure if it had worked. Even if it did, what could I tell Roswell? Alrighty, what are we going to do with a uh, million dollars? That's the million dollar quest. <laughs> what are we going to do with them? They do look so fluffy and grabbable. I just, I just want to squeeze his face. I just want to squeeze his face. Can I, can I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to squeeze his face. Give his face a little, a little squeeze. A little, a little, a little, yeah. yeah, but that's they're, they're they're still committing murder though. How to earn eggs? I don't know how to earn eggs. Yeah, we're gonna invest. I'd f I figure I'd put it into something that'd make more money. Boring, yeah, but safe. No, I get that. Besides, you hear a lot of people squandering their winnings like that and ending up with nothing really quickly. Not only that, but you get people bothering you all the time for donations and such. Or, like, 
people threatening your loved ones unless you give them a lot of money. Uh, but if it's all tied up in real estate or whatever, then there's not much that can be taken from you without a bunch of waiting. That went dark. Fast. S sorry. Uh, red book. Red book. Red guy. As I turned to leave, suddenly everything I'd seen came flooding back. Blood everywhere. Roswell faced down in the middle of the room. That one underlined word he'd left behind. Discovery. Uh, Dave, are you okay? You look as white as a ghost, and you sort of just stopped there for a few minutes. Had it really been a couple of minutes? Roswell's still alive, but unless I said something now, chances were it wasn't going to stay that way. Mmm, never gonna say nothing or save Roswell. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save real quick. I'm gonna save. Get a, get a little save. I'm gonna say nothing. In the end, what I saw was just a hallucination, not a premonition of the future, right? Sorry, I guess I'm just more tired than I thought. Even saying if I, even saying it, I wasn't sure if it was the right thing to do. Oh well, make sure you get some rest. You scared me there for a moment. Ah oh, fuck. And Roswell's dead again. Why must you keep killing the bacon? Something wasn't sitting right, both in my gut and my head. Not a sickness or illness from overeating, but an uneasy feeling that was telling me that I made a grave mistake somewhere along the way. While my stomach lurched and I stood up quietly, my cup of coffee was spilling as I failed to keep my hands steady. Dave, are you okay? Yeah, you look like seeing a ghost. Couldn't say anything, despite having just finished a mouthful of coffee before Lana's question, my throat was dry. First few steps I took away from the table were shaky, and I used the back of Dean's chair as support as I walked around him. I had to be sure. I managed to make it to the stairs before Dean had caught up. He stayed back, keeping an eye on me. I could feel his eyes bore through the back of my head. It might have just been my head, but I could smell it when I got close to the room. Reaching out for the door handle, I gulped and opened the way forward. I stepped forward, knowing all too well where he'd be. Dean was close behind, close enough that I could feel his breath on my neck. As we rounded the corner, it was as I feared. The body has been discovered! Nope. Nope. But he's my favorite. He's my favorite. Roswell's my favorite. It wasn't worth the risk. Roswell! Red realized I'd almost jumped back towards Roswell and roughly grabbed him in a hug. W whoa I, I mean, I appreciate the hug, but is everything okay? You can't stay here. I- wait, what? What do I do now? Should I just flat out tell him that he'd die if he stayed here? Question is, would he believe me? Oh god damn it. Another decision. Do we lie or tell the truth? And why are we murdering Dean? Why are we murdering Dean? I looked him dead in the eye. Roswell? What? If you stay here, in the museum, at some point, someone's going to murder you. Tonight. You can't stay in here. Roswell searched my face for the lie. Ralph furrowed it for a second before looking off to the side, thoughtful. I have a question for you, Dave. Oh, yeah? How bad was it? I blinked. How bad was what? I think I know what's going on. You should have just told me straight up. Not only that, but I think your delivery needs some work. My delivery? Well, yeah. Honestly, you didn't think you'd end up using those tarot cards I got you for your birthday this year. I honestly just sort of like the art. I- what? Yeah. But telling someone their fortune, gotta work on the delivery. Don't put, don't put much stock into myself. I prefer sleight of hand sort of tricks, but I reckon Haas might be into it, right? I- you've lost me. Horoscopes and stuff. Some people are into knowing what the future holds. I tend to, I guess, see what happens. Where's the fun in trying to figure out what's going to happen? Takes the magic out of it, you know? I guess. But seriously, you can't stay in here. You're in danger. Sure, sure. I think you're just overreacting. Roswell, I opened the vault. What? Yeah, before you arrived, I lucked into the password, I guess. You lucked into the password? The door was still locked when I arrived and still wanted another password. Maybe you just think you opened it? Well, either way, I saw you die right here in this room. Do I want to know how? You were looking at a book, I guess. You'd underlined a word in blood or something, and that turned out to be the password that let me know what happened. 
look, I know it sounds like a tall tale, but I figure if it did end up happening, I'd feel horrible if I didn't at least try and stop it from happening. Roswell looked at me with a steely gaze for a while before sighing. Okay, okay, I get it. We aren't making much progress here anyway. Maybe taking a break would be for the best. I sighed in relief. Maybe I can go look for some mushrooms or something in the forest. I've got the nose for it, at least. Couldn't hurt to try and get something fancy for Orlando to cook with. I'm sure he'd like that. One last thing, though. Oh, yeah? What's that? What was the password you used, anyway? Oh, uh, it was Discovery. Hmm. It's funny. Funny how? Discovery, the concept of it. We're looking for medallions. You discovered the password. I'm about to go discover some mushrooms. <laughs> and that's... Funny? Well, that's not all. The term also refers to the sharing of crucial testimony and other documents relevant to a trial, you know, so you can weigh up how you should plea. So in a way, you shared your testimony of my fate, and that helped me decide on whether or not I should stay. So you really believe I opened the vault? Full disclosure? Not really. But I'd rather not take the risk of dying over it, and you seem invested. Isn't he fruity? Aren't, aren't they all a little... Well, uh... <laughs> Aren't they all a little bit, uh, you know, uh, a little, uh, I, I don't know, I don't know how to phrase this. I don't know how to phrase this. A little, a little, a little gay. Wait, is Roswell gay? I mean, Tyson, he's like, gay, gay for Dave. He's gay for Dave. But it's like, you know, just, just fuck everyone else. But rather than take the risk of dying over it and you seem invested. Friends trust each other, right? Right, yeah. Okay, well, I'm going into the forest. Did you need some company? Nah, I should be fine. I've gone mushroom hunting before and not had any trouble. Besides, should be along as long as I'm out of the museum, right? Uh, right. Just don't lock me out. If you run into Benson, just let him know where I've gone and he should leave the door unlocked. Or worst case scenario, leave a window open so I can smell dinner. I watched as Roswell wandered on past, amused expression on his face. So long as he didn't return until tomorrow, he should be safe and should now survive to see morning. Tyson's single gay. <laughs> Tyson is Dave sexual. <laughs> Not Dave sexual. He only wants Dave. Just like, just, uh, uh, f the fuck off everyone else. Tyson wants Dave. I'm sorry about that loss, that fact. My heart sank and I gulped. I'd forgotten about how he'd gone outside and how I said I'd leave a l window open so that he could find his way back. Granted, it was better than him being, well. I shook my head feeling as though I'd done the right thing and something just as bad at the same time. Roswell! I was starting to panic. I'd potentially avoided him meeting his early end in the museum. And I just sent him out into the woods to die instead. I began to tug at my fur until Orlando grabbed me suddenly and spun me around to face him. What happened? Roswell was, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's a little, uh, yeah, disappeared. I had an odd sense of panic, not that I slept well, but something told me that Roswell had avoided his fate, at least the one in the museum. He was still out in the forest, but that was better than, well, whatever it was that I saw. After I'd gotten dressed, I checked his room just to be sure. Sadly, nothing was there, nothing I could do about it for now, so I headed downstairs. I wandered over to the side of the house where the hedge maze was. Maybe it was partially because I was thinking of Roswell's scavenger hunt and assumed he'd be nearby. Roswell? Calling out into the forest did nothing and I edged forward. Dean said not to wander into the woods, but, well, that'd make things easier. Roswell, are you out there? Rustling in the bushes just a little ways and made my heart stop for a second. Was it Roswell? Throwing caution in the wind, I stepped just to the other side of the tree line and called out again. Lazily, Ty sat up and looked over the bush that had been rustling. Ty? You're not Roswell. You're a fucking genius, Dave. What are you doing out here? Are you looking for Roswell, too? No. You can stay lost in the forest for all I care. Serves him right for wandering off. That's a little mean, isn't it, Ty? Bacon? Get the fuck over here, Bacon. Get the fuck over here, you, my little precious Bacon. He shrugged, shuffling around in the dirt. What are you even doing? I found something. Figured I'd show you, but... Well, you came to me instead of me coming to get you. Okay, what did you find? Bullet. 
I wandered closer and Ty showed me the bullet in his hand. Didn't look overly large, but I knew about guns outside the ones that came from came with foam bullets. Uh, what kind is it? Don't know. It doesn't look like it'd go with the ones from Pa's shotgun. Just found it was weird that someone's dig that someone's dig up a gun. That someone dig up a gun. How do you know? You can tell by the ground here that someone dug stuff up, dug something up. Bullet, gun, you know. Dave, where are you? Oh, there you are. Dean wandered in to meet up with Tyson and I, notably without Orlando. Where's Orlando? Talking to Sayo. What are you two up to? Looking for Oswale? He wishes. Well, I am. Ty's just talking about a bullet he found that someone dug up. A gun? Where? I pointed and Dean wandered over to where Tyson was crouching, inspecting the soil. Well, whatever was buried here was dug up a couple days ago by how the soil started to dry up. So, someone dug this up after we got here? Great! Someone has a gun, then. One of us, you mean. With a butler, fuck if I know. A twinge at the back of my mind made me flinch. Roswell getting killed. Did the person with the gun do it? I shook my head. That vision made it look like a bludgeoning. Plus, a gun would be noisier. Well, less people that know about a gun, the better, I think. No need to get everyone panicked over it. Well, unless you go blabbing, you're the only one... You're the only two that know outside me. What, so if someone gets shot, it must be one of us? Don't think you could shoot someone, pup, but yeah. I wouldn't shoot someone either. I don't think Dean could kill anyone. You, though... Well, yeah, I'd kill someone. Hey, yo! You would? Why? If it came down to it, yeah, it depends on the situation, I guess. Like, self-defense, yeah, I reckon you're fair game at that point. But killing someone? What if Dave was in danger, not going to kill someone to save his life? <laughs> <laughs> I could see the gears turning in Dean's head as he mulled this over, looking Tyson up and down. It won't happen, not while I'm around. I'll keep him safe. I wonder if I could do it. Kill someone, I mean. What? Well, yeah, it's unlikely it ever happened, but I don't know if I could go through with it. I'm too delicate for prison. <laughs> That's Dave's response. I'm too delicate for prison. I, here's, 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 here's the thing. Here's the thing. I say shit like that all the time, but like my response and basically my entire fucking family's response is... We don't look good in orange. I don't look good in orange. I look horrible in orange. I'm too delicate for prison. What? Worried you're gonna drop the soap? Well... Hey, now, if that's all you're worried about, I can, uh, you know. We laughed it off much to my relief. I didn't want these two going at each other's throats every single time stuff like this came up. Alright, well, no sign of Roswell, I guess. What should we do? First step is to get everyone together so to make sure we're all on the same page, and then I'll probably head out to look for him. Head on out to look for him. <laughs> oh my god! Hi, Bacon! He needs medicine! I volunteered to take Roswell upstairs, still feeling guilty. Roswell needed a shower anyway, and under the hot water just accomplished two things at once given his cough. I know it felt better after a good shower. Not only that, I, but I wasn't convinced how to use in the clear. After all, who would kill Roswell of all people? And why? You didn't need to come with me, you know. Yeah, yeah, you just get warm. I hear Roswell grumble from the other side of the door. You know, the force is much denser than I gave it credit for. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. At one stage, I found a camp. Looks like it had been used recently, too. Huh, how strange. Are we on privately owned land? I know the mansion itself is private land. But I don't know how much of the surrounding forest covers it, too. Maybe some, maybe not at all. Uh, it feels strange having people, I guess, wandering around in your backyard. Given how dense the forest is, I'd guess, I don't know, hunters, scouts. Did you find game out there or see any? Signs? Sure. Didn't see any for, didn't see any for real, though. Oh. I did find the shack, though. The shack? I can't remember if I mentioned it or not, but I heard about a shack inside the woods where someone used to call home. I say used to, but... Suddenly, Roswell's doubled over, almost coughing up his lungs. Whoa, are you okay? Maybe you should lay down. I I'm fine. Really? I helped Roswell up and put him to bed. You just rest up. I'll go get you some more tea. This is more comfortable than whatever it was that you slept on last night. Roswell whined but rolled over, almost aggressively hugging the plush bed cover. Hang tight. I'll be right back. Didn't even make it to the door before I heard him quietly snoring in bed. 
Worst case scenario, I figured I'd make a cup of tea anyway, just in case it helped Roswell feel a little better. That cough was not doing his throat any favors. Oh, Hoss, Orlando, you're both still here? With here still? Uh oh, yeah, I'm here. Preparing for dinner and all. Oh, hey, Dave, you look almost as red as Orlando here. Yeah, I was going to ask, do I want to know what's up with that? I'll tell you later, long, long and short of it was. If nothing, of the day, dear me, I swear. Dave. Uh, yeah? Why did they come to the kitten? Oh, well, I figured I'd make Roswell some more tea. He's asleep now, but that cough is pretty bad. That should be too hard to fix the tea part, I mean. He is resting, though, right? Didn't even make it out of his room before he was asleep. Poor guy must be exhausted. If I'm brewing some tea, did anyone else want any? What the fuck is up with Orlando? <laughs> sure, I'll take some. May as well if you're making. Thanks, Orlando. Hang tight. Thun be too long. So, did you find out why he got lost? Apparently, it's just that deep. He found a shack, but spent the night at a campsite instead. A campsite? I doubt he had much in the way of cover from the elements. But that he knows how to start a fire, so hopefully this isn't too bad. Better than the alternative. The words were out of my mouth before I'd realized what I said. What, you mean, like, in his own bed? Uh, no, wait. I mean, I don't really know what I was saying. Haas looked across to Orlando, who was too preoccupied making the tea. You know, I read something interesting this morning. The main point was that sometimes spirits commune with the living to forewarn them of things to come. Shamanistic stuff, you know? I honestly think Ross will get a kick out of reading it, but... You wouldn't happen to have had an experience like this recently, have you? Uh, no. No, of course not. Hmm. I feel like you're lying to me, but I can't disprove it. Yeah, well, I suppose it doesn't matter. You don't really strike me the type anyway. Still, the fact you think Roswell spending the night out in the woods is better than what he was facing otherwise. Almost as if you think he was going to get killed in the middle of the night. <laughs> Dragon, no. <laughs> if only you knew. Hoss, please shut the fuck up. You're gonna fucking jinx it. You're gonna fucking jinx it. Shut the fuck up, Hoss. Despite Haas having a good chuckle to himself, I paled, gulping. He had no idea just how right he was. Tea's ready. What's so funny? Eh, just thinking about something I read. You wouldn't like it. Caught the wink Haas gave me. How do I know? I'm sure I'd find it funny, too. Oh, well, in that case, I was just telling Dave about this horror story about a mansion where ghosts... On second thought, I think I'm fine. Never mind. Uh, here's the tea, anyway. Thanks, Orlando. Oh, you're welcome. Hopefully that helps Rothwell, too. It smells good, that's for sure. I'll go take it to him while it's hot. Get for not to trip on the stairs, but do hurry. It's probably better for him while it's as hot as possible. I'll keep that in mind, thanks. Rothwell, you awake? Uh huh? Hey, I brought you tea. Mmm, tea. Okay. I even got to the bed, he was doubled over coughing. It hurts. It's my fault. I shouldn't have forced you out. You didn't force me outside, though. It's okay. I'll be okay. Eventually. Here, Orlando made it. Apparently, it'll help. It, it smells good, at least. Hopefully, it does the trick. Careful. It's still quite hot. We sat on the bed. Ross was still mostly under the covers, his tusks clinking against the china as he sipped. It wasn't all that bad. Relaxing, for sure. Easy on the throat, too. Hey, Dave? Yeah? I, um, I think I want to apologize. I racked my mind as to what he'd want to apologize for, but nothing came to mind. I, um... I'm sorry I wasn't more thankful you saved my life. Wait, what? To be honest, being alone in the forest gave me a lot of time to just think about what you said. Oh, uh, don't worry about it, really. You said I was in danger and that I was going to die. Just think about what that would have happened if I did stay. Fucking right? He has no business being so fucking... I, I just want to squish his face. I just wanna- I just wanna grab his face and squish it. Apparently that's a real thing. He 
Yeah, that's like a real thing. Like cuteness aggression. Where you just like grab someone's face and then squeeze it. Just aggressively. You just wanna you just wanna squeeze their face. You just wanna crush them yeah, with your with your with your face. Just, your hand just squeeze their face. That that's a real thing. It's cuteness aggression. I want to smash his face. I want to squish his face. I didn't want to tell him that the vision of it was still vividly flickering in the back of my mind whenever the subject came up. Hey, it's just what friends do, right? Want anything bad happening to you? I, I just... Whoa, hey, don't cry. It's all right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I just... And in the same... And in came the coffee again. Thankfully, he mostly finished his tea, so his spillage was almost non-existent. As soon as he managed to put his teacup down, he latched on, uncomfortably doubling over so his forehead was still against my chest as he held, held on by my shoulders. There's so much for the tea helping, huh? I'm sorry, I hurt my nose. Oh, uh, it's alright, I'll go put on another one for or something. You should get some more rest, huh? I don't think you'll be missing much. Hey, I'll go down and take the mushrooms down to Orlando for you. Okay, but don't move the mushrooms just yet. I, I still want to make sure they're okay. Oh, good point. Don't want anyone, well, anyone else getting sick. I lay Roswell back down and made sure he was covered properly. I felt his head, and he was running a little bit of a temperature. It was hard to tell if that was because of the bed or tea, both or neither. You might have a temperature. I'll check in later and make sure you're okay. Maybe someone else will know how best to deal with that. And I'm going to show you what I mean by weakness, by uh, cuteness aggression. Let me let me grab something real quick. You're in the Discord server, then you already know what it is. Ah, fuck. Fuck. Trying not trying not to die. Trying not to die. Alrighty. Alrighty, uh video capture device. Alrighty, alrighty. So this thing. This giant fucker. This is what I mean, just that. Wanna do that. Alright, let me let me put it back. Back where it belongs, Norm. Get, get back in. Get back where you belong, you, you fucker. Get back. Get back, you fucker. There you go. Here we go. Pour milk on it and slap it against. Oh, fuck. Ah. That thing is unwieldy, but it's fun as hell. Why did I get it down? You might have a temperature. I'll check in later and make sure you're okay. Maybe someone else will know how to best to deal with that. Yet again, all that greeted me was soft snoring. He must have been exhausted to fall asleep again straight away. I could smell him before I could see him heading towards the stairs as I was making my way back to the kitchen. Oh, hey, Ty, just finished working out? Hmm? Yeah. Why? That obvious? Well, I could smell you coming. It's, uh, well... Yeah, yeah. I know you'll like it, though. Just because you say it doesn't mean it's true. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to say no. Just because you say it doesn't mean it's true. Don't worry, I'm going to have a shower now. And probably kick back until food happens. Can't have you boning up over this musket dinner. Ugh. Even if I did, I'm sure Dean would just find an excuse to make it about his natural charm working or something. Good point. Oh, before I forget, can confirm Roswell is not dead, but has some nasty cough, though. Spent last night in the woods. Fuck off. No kidding, huh? At least this means you can stop being weird about it now. Yeah, we finished all of Orlando's. Right now we're doing Roswell's. Ye Nile. All I have to say about that is, uh, hang on, hang on. Okay. I don't associate with Tyson's titty milk. You know what? You know what? You know what? Uh, Ty, uh, no, Dave, 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 I have something just for you. 
That is a fact. Denial is a river in Egypt. Wait, no, hang on, hang on. Let me actually get it. Denial is a river in Africa. It is a major north-flowing river in northeastern Africa. It flows into the Mediterranean Sea. It is the longest river in Africa and has historically been considered the longest river in the world. Though this has been contested by research suggesting that the Amazon River is slightly longer. Because I can. Catch you later. Hey, wait a sec. What? I was wondering, like, instead of, like, you working out all the time, maybe we could do something together. Oh, are you asking me on a day you're going to make Dean jealous? No, no, I just... You seem to be in the gym all the time. I like it down there. Dave is in the Nile pretty deep. Fucking <laughs> right. I like it down there. Yeah, but you're not going to last a whole month down there doing the same thing. Come on, we could just chill and watch a movie or play games upstairs. It really bothers you that much? Well, yeah, a little bit. All right, all right. Movie sounds all right. Been a while since we've done that anyway. Fuck it, invite everyone. Do it as a big group. Whoa, you sure? I'm not going to have you talk my ear off about how I'm not making friends. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, that's it. All right, fine. Deal. Now go shower. You stink. You're lucky I don't drag you in and make you wash my back. Catch you later, pup. Yeah, yeah, see ya, Ty. Orlando said he had something special planned for dinner, right? There was still a ways to go before it was time, though, but what to do? Oh, hey, Dean. What are you doing at the pool? Oh, hi, just taking a break from the greenhouse, but, uh... Ah, well, why not swim, right? Swim or the hot tub? Honestly, both. I know, I'm on the stout side. Don't want to become a couch potato, though. Figure swimming is, uh, at le least a little more enjoyable than running. I can see that. You don't really strike me as a running type. Ugh, yeah, only time I'd run it would be if my life depended on it. Well, don't let me stop you. I'm just going to chill here until it's dinner time. Hey, nothing stop you from joining me in a hot tub later, you know? Dean jumped into the pool and just started just paddling around, watching me from the water. How's the water? It's, uh, it's colder than I thought. It's like a bath, you know. Yeah, yeah, but damn, I'm probably shrinking. I wasn't ready for this. Well, good things no one's going to judge you. No one's going to judge you for it, I guess. Dean grumbled and kept paddling. Dean grumbled and kept paddling around, occasionally shooting me dirty looks. So this is where everyone's hiding. Dean's taking a break. I'm waiting for dinner. I just assumed Sal would be here too. No, no, he's giving Orlando a hand. Actually, what with dinner? Yeah, he's sending me out here to gather everyone up, or at the very least, give them the warning. Dinner isn't too far off. Early dinner, huh? No, they did have something pl special planned. After all. Honestly, I think he's just planning on making a whole bunch of pizza and making us watch a movie together. You're not far off, but he is quite smitten at okay, the moment. Okay, two things. Now that you finish your Orlando round, who is your favorite Roswell. Character? Also, I wish you good luck. Winking face. With all the round. Good and bad. Thank you, and Roswell. Roswell's my favorite. He is my favorite. He is so huggable and squishable. I, I just, I just want to give, I just want to give him a hug. Give, give him a big old, big old bear hug. Give, give him a hug. fucking love the bacon you're not far off but he is quite smitten at the moment i looked into the pool and dean was already out slinking across to the hot tub hey dean so much for swimming huh dinner soon anyway how long do we have anyway hopefully enough time to do the tub hey get back here maybe just wait a sec tell you what get ready for dinner i'll join you in the tub after we've eaten i've never seen dean move as fast towards the shower When it was time for dinner, rather than file into the dining room, we all gathered into the room we knew as the rec room. I checked on, on Ross. I checked in on Roswell on the way, th the way through, managing to get him out, get out of him that he wasn't it's all that hungry, mostly just tired. It's time to drink water. Dean is devoted. It's time to drink water. Dean just fucking. It's teleported. time to drink water. <laughs> wasn't all that hungry and mostly just tired. He also mentioned that Benson was coming by later to check up on him. So it was alright for the rest of us to do whatever without him. Oh, sure, we need it. Oh, you know how it is. Oh, boy, you're smitten. Alright, I've never seen you this bad. I... I don't know. Hey, no judgments here, Orlando. Don't go getting yourself hurt, alright? 
Hey, and now I still don't know. He perfect for me. Stay mad, bitches. Well, I'm going to get out of the way. Need help getting dinner, or... Now, nah, just go downstairs and get it later. No problem. It's not a bad idea. We are on vacation, after all. That's what I was thinking. Nothing beats just hanging around in a comfy beanbag with a good pizza, either. I'm guessing you're yet to decide on a movie, too, given how things are set up. Not yet. We're going to make sure everyone had food before we can go through the lift together. Seems like a decent way to go about it. Shane Roswell can't join us, though. Understandable given what he went through, though. I can only imagine how rough he must feel. Still, we'll make it up to him soon. We haven't been here a week yet, and we've still got the rest of the month to go. Okay, hi. Bye. Hi. Bye. Bye. Who are we sitting beside? Sal isn't an option. Who are we sitting beside? Dean, Tyson, or Haas? Oh, we got one vote for Haas. One for Dean. I think because Ross was sitting beside him. One for Tyson. Two for Tyson. <laughs> so far, Tyson got one for Dean. Got two for Dean, two for Tyson. <sighs> and that's everyone for Tyson. Hey, pup. Hey, this he taken? Yup. Well, it was anyway. You're there now, so I guess I'm stuck with you. Oh, uh, should I move? Nah, you're right. So long as you don't try and take my spot next. Ty reached over and put me in a headlock, grinding a knuckle into my head. Hey, quit it! Say, uncle. He stopped, whispering in my ear in the most sickeningly, t sickeningly teasing tone. No. Say, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> what? He ground his knuckle in again. <laughs> Hard. Enough to make me cry out, just enough to draw attention from Dean at the very least. He wasn't going to quit, so... Please stop! Say it! Daddy! <laughs> And he let go immediately, throwing his hands up as if completely innocent. Caught a glimpse of Dean, looking mortified over what happened. <laughs> you fucking... <laughs> You'll be fine, pup. Tell me what sort of movie you want to watch while we wait for this wait on this food. Movie? Uh, I guess I'd be fine with whatever. What about you? Me? Uh... Action flicks are good, I guess. You can't go wrong with a good horror film, too. Horror? Really? Yeah. To be honest, I hope we get to watch one with Orlando in the room. I reckon he'd scream real good. <laughs> oh, God. What movie are we watching? Dude is pissed. Go one for horror. One for comedy. We're not on Tyson's route. We're on Roswell's. Yeah, let's go with horror. I figured bonding over a scary movie wouldn't necessarily be a bad idea. Especially with pizza in the mix to take the edge off. This should be this should have been fine, right? My brothers in Christ, we I, must stay focused. At several points I noticed Orlando cowering next to Sal, almost trying to hide behind him. By the end of it, Orlando was a mess. Tyson had almost a almost greedy look on his face the whole time. I didn't realize that he liked them that much. The others didn't seem all that bothered by it, but we all had our jolts where the movie ga just gave us a good scare anyway. I could see him still holding the extra pizza cutter in his hand, and he was trembling a little bit. I felt bad for the guy and wondered if he was going to sleep alright tonight. Not bad, not bad. Hey, Roswell. Figured despite him not being able to come get pizza for himself, I'd bring him a couple slices. At least that way I can make sure he was eating. Oh, hey, Dave. You alright? I'm okay, just tired. Hurts a little bit in the chest, but I'll be okay come morning, I think. You're sure? Do you need medicine? Oh, no, Benson brought some around. I don't really know what they are, but they're helping. 
Well, so long as it's helping. If it gets worse, though, we're going to need to get you a d get you to a doctor before it gets really sick. Well, we could always rig an, IV rig an IV drip of orange juice as something to tide me over. It was good seeing him more chipper than when I left him. The rest must have been doing him some good. Here, watch some pizza. Orlando made it. Oh, I wonder what I was smelling. All I've had is some crackers and water. This has picked my appetite back up, though. I watched Roswell chow down almost as if he hadn't eaten in a week. Whoa, I'd almost forgotten you hadn't eaten since yesterday. I, I don't mean anything of it. Just surprising. Sorry, it did taste really good, though. Did you want more? Is that okay? Oh, sure, there's heaps. Do you want me to go get it, or... Oh, um, no, that's okay. I can get it. How about we go get it together? And maybe get you some fresh air before you head back to bed. Okay. After getting Roswell sorted with leftovers from the kitchen... I was wondering why you backed out of the hot tub. Well, yeah, it didn't seem fair that he spends a whole evening by himself in his bedroom. I agree. Feeling any better, Roswell? Oh, uh, yeah, I think so. Once I get some sleep tonight, I think I'll be good in the morning. Fingers crossed, at least. Otherwise, might have to put you in the hot tub to try and burn off whatever's gotten to you. Can't confirm. It's a great feeling. To be honest, if you guys hadn't shown up, I probably would have stayed in there for too long. Maybe I'll jump in tomorrow. Now I'm just tired. Probably time I turn in as well. Who knows what's going to happen tomorrow after all. So, bedtime? Bedtime. You guys have a good night. I'm just going to shower here and head on up later. Dave, you take care of Roswell, yeah? You got it. I took Roswell back to his room, and he was out of it the moment his head hit the pillow. Ugh, I'm beat. Hmm? Something felt off about the room, like someone had been in here. It wasn't the first time. I just want to notice something on the bed. It was a note, folded and hastily scrawled. I know what you did. What? Who? What was, what was this from? Uh, what did I do? I looked around the room and wondered if I was being pranked or if someone else was somehow watching me through some hidden camera. What had, what had I done? Was it talking about the gun? About what happened with Roswell? It seemed needlessly threatening, but it wasn't signed. I pulled out my phone and checked the time. It was surprisingly late after making sure Roswell was fine. I told myself I'd shower in the morning. I just wanted to sleep. But it wasn't a peaceful one. Uh, the bacon! The bacon! Must have drifted off to sleep. The next thing I know, I'm being shaken gently. Hey, hey, wake up. Huh? Oh, it's just you, Roswell. What's... What time is it? Early. Oh. I sat up in bed and Roswell sat down next to me, fidgeting. Is everything okay? Couldn't sleep. Maybe it was because I slept so much yesterday. No, I... No, that's not it. This is going to sound nuts. Well, I'm awake now. So what's up? I want... I want to know how I died. Specifics. What? Roswell's fidgeting stopped and he looked me in the eye, resolute. Please, I need to know. I just keep thinking about it, doubting it, but I need to know the details. I don't want to doubt my friends and Tyson, but if you say that someone is out to kill me, then I need to know for sure. Mm, which one? Can't be tired. Oh, connection terminated. I don't remember the rest of the speech. I think it might be a bacon sandwich. What do you plan to do? I don't know. Run? Hide? I can't think of anything I've done wrong toward being killed, though. Okay, okay, so if you assume that what I saw was real, and not just a hallucination that could have given you the flu, who's the prime suspect? Oh, jeez, I haven't thought that far. It could be anyone, right? Alright, well, if you think it'll help, we can go check out the place it happened. Thanks. But I'm taking a shower first. Uh, oh, okay, should I just... There's fine, I won't be long. One shower later, Roswell and I headed back to the museum, Roswell leading the way. Okay, we're here. It does feel sort of cold doing an investigation, huh? Yeah, yeah. Don't cops normally have coffee and donuts when they're doing a stakeout or something? Oh, uh... Don't worry about it. Let's just get the sword and we can get coffee when we're done. Okay, let's do this. So there's a few things we need to cover. For starters, we're specifically in this room. Then, with what? I guess we can't cover the who part, but maybe we can narrow it down from there. Which topic to tackle first? 
Location or murder weapon. Oh, so Damien, why are you whispering? Seems like you're whispering. Well, remember where we were looking for clues around there? Maybe the other side of the bookcase? Hmm, let's see. Roswell led the way to where he thought it might have taken place and started looking around. Was it about here? To be honest, the only thing I saw was you dead on the ground next to a book, I guess. Hmm, book. Maybe. This book you saw, what did it look like? Well, it was open, so I couldn't tell you. Didn't see the front. Anything else specific about it you remember? Well... You'd underline the word in the book that I used to open the vault. Right, you said it was discovery, yeah? Yeah. Was the book the murder weapon? Looked like it. Roswell placed the room a bit, sizing things up, looking things over. Did you think of anything? It doesn't make sense. There's no telling if what I saw was even real, right? Well, yeah, okay, sure, but that's not what I'm getting at. The biggest books in here are the ones at the very top, right? I guess. Sure, why not? Aside from poor planning on where to put the heaviest books, I can, for a fact, say that wasn't the murder weapon. But it was covered in blood. And I can understand why you'd make that conclusion. I can also understand that you may not know why that's impossible. Huh? It's too early for this, Roswell. Just give me an answer, please. Well, you're no fun. But fine. Blunt force trauma. You've lost me. Any fatal wound incurred by blunt force trauma would likely be to the head. Okay, sure, but why is that important? Because if someone was hit on the head, say, by one of those big books, they'd be knocked out instantly. You could cave their skull in, assuming you had the brawn to do it, but they'd be out like a light. Okay, so? So if I had been hit on the head by a giant book... Wait. Right. The book can't be the murder weapon, because I'd have been dead before getting to underline the word discovery. I stared at Roswell, and I wasn't sure if I wasn't processing it properly because of a lack of coffee, or that we were back where we started. Well, great, then what was the murder weapon? Hard to say what it was for sh Was it for sure a head wound, or... Looks like it. Okay, well, that narrows things down. We can rule out a stabbing, then. Even stabbing something into one's head is near instant if they get to the brain. How do you even know this? A combination of medical curiosity and instant in looking up how to deal with zombies. That said... Evisceration could fit the profile. Of what... Hmm, think like if you hit someone in the head with a sword that the suit of armor over there is holding. Ready yet, rather than it being a blunt surface, something more narrow without being sharp, if that makes sense. This is probably the lack of coffee talking, but that's fucked. Sorry. Okay, so we narrowed down the murder weapon to not be one of these books. But what would fit the profile? It's hard to say. None of the things on display, minus that sword, would really do the job. I guess someone would have brought the weapon them with themselves. You don't happen to remember anything beyond me being dead, do you? Not really, why? No reason. But, well, I feel a little better now, if only because I can reason out what happened to some extent. Much like you thought I could do with some coffee. Or at the very least, some more sleep before breakfast. I think I'm too awake now to deal with more sleep. I'll probably have a nap later to make up for it. To the kitchen, then! Roswell and I sat, sat up at the far end of the table with a coffee pot between us, sipping from our cups gingerly. Stay by That Kid Leroy, featuring Justin Bieber. At some point, Roswell passed out, using the table as a pillow with his coffee clutched in front of him. It was still really early, earlier than when Haas or Sal got up to do the physical exercise. I hadn't even seen Benson about yet. Morning. Oh, hey, Ty, you're up early. No shit, can't sleep. Been awake most of the night with a pounding headache. Been drinking enough water, need aspirin or something? I'll be fine, maybe just slept funny. He reached over Roswell's sleeping body and slipped the cup from his hands, drinking deep before almost looking repulsed by what he'd put in his mouth. Ugh, what the fuck, Roswell? How many sugars are in this? Gonna need something strong to get that taste out of my mouth. Coffee, breakfast, or kiss? Is it even a question? Is it even a question? I think I already know what you all want. Yeah. We got one, two, three for kiss, one for coffee. Two. 
two for coffee. You got three for kiss, two for coffee. Three for coffee. Wait, no. We got three for kiss, three for coffee. Sorry. I know I already got your vote in. It's even right now. Next vote. Next vote decides it. Kiss or coffee. And it's a kiss. Haven't brushed my teeth up. You could always kiss me. Wait, what? Seeing Tyson stagger was amusing, to say the least. Oh, har, har, Mr. Funny Guy. Okay, I haven't had any decent coffee yet. Oh, yeah, or what? Tyson then came in real close, almost touching his nose against mine while he wore a wicked smile. I do things that make, that make you squeal louder than what Ross was capable of. Even with coffee in my system, I wasn't ready for that blind side. The... Thought you'd know better than to pick fights you can't win, pup. Um... I mean, I wouldn't say no. Tyson disappeared into the kitchen right as Roswell began to stir. Oh, good morning. Again. Wait, where's my coffee? Tyson took it. Uh-oh. I think you're fine. He's pretty placid before coffee. You sure? Just stay out of his way and you'll be fine. Sure enough, Tyson came out of the kitchen a short while later with a mug of his own, plus a plate of toaster waffles. Tyson is such a goober. Well, we're doing his route last, so... <sighs> I need to shave. I need to fucking shave my beard. No, he made waffles. Here, made you guys waffles, whatever. He helped himself to the coffee, resting back with a sigh. So, how'd you two sleep? Oh, uh, okay, I guess. Well, no, not really. Slept okay-ish, just not for long enough. Oi, Rossell, you feeling better after yesterday? Rossell shot me a look of surprise equal to my own. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess so, at least physically. Still sort of stressed over something Dave told me, though. What, he told you he was freaking out over leaving you outside? He was? I mean, that's flattering, but no, it's not that. Oh, then, whatever, I guess. Uh, right. You're not dead for starters, so that's something. Not as if someone would try anything with all of us around unless they're fucked in the head, probably. Not wrong there. The more I think about it, the sillier it is, right? Couldn't help but laugh at myself over it, but it was Tyson that nudged me before motioning to Roswell. Oh, uh, sorry, Roswell. It's okay, there's really no reason not to laugh about it. There's not even a murder weapon that was around. Even then, no telling who could have done it. Can I just say how dumb this is? Nothing happened. Nothing. You're freaking out about nothing. Tyson grabbed a waffle and began chowing down, leaving Roswell and I to mull over what he declared. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. Yeah, well, whatever. Mmm. By the time we'd all assembled into the dining room, Orlando went into the kitchen only to bring us out breakfast. I promise this won't, be the, this won't last the whole month. Although I do wonder if people are going to be upset if they have to settle for cereal and toast. Orlando slunk back into the kitchen, presumably to grab more things for breakfast. Well, why don't you join Dean and I, Dave? What, at the pool? Yeah, who knows? Could even check out the hot tub later, too. Now that I'm feeling better, it'll be good to try it out for sure. Well, alright, I guess I'll join you guys today, then. We're gonna leave off here tonight. Mouthful of Dave Waffle and Tyson Waffle. I also love the bacon. Love the bacon so much. Anyways, uh, lost my cursor. There it is. Stay safe. Have a good night. And I will see you all tomorrow.